What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, this is going to be quick. Um, shout out to my tea, uh, girl, my tea, hot tea, hot chocolate. Um, she give, she, she, first of all, she gives an update every day on what's going on with Krishan. It seems that y'all want me to post every day and say Krishan update, uh, like hot tea, hot chocolate is doing, except she's putting up a post. I will be putting up an entire video. And if y'all want me to do that, I will. The results are going to be the same until she gets out. So don't come at me with the you clout, Jason, and all this bull. If you want to know what's up, I can tell you every day. Let me know. But in the meantime, in between time, uh, Krishan's previous lawyer withdraws because his services are no longer needed. She is absolutely going to explain this. I did. I do think she made a YouTube video about it, if I ain't mistaken. But um, basically, which we knew because... Um, Earlier in this case, we found out that she did not have a lawyer and um, he asked to withdraw like what last year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and apparently I don't know when he withdrew. So let me continue to read. But she says Krishan's previous attorney who handled her original Oklahoma case has withdrawn. This is due to his assignment being complete on the original case. This in no way determines she has no legal representation regarding any future cases or hearings as of current no lawyer is on file because there is no scheduled there is no scheduled or upcoming court hearings in Oklahoma as of now. Simple anything further is speculation. This this update is not for her pending probation violation. So uh be aware of the fact that she has several different things going on. So of course she's gonna have it's gonna be several different reasons as to why whatever is going on. Okay. But um Y'all can look at it. She's showing you the proof of it. Motion to withdraw as the returnee of uh, record. Come now. Uh, Barrett and Gallon P LLC and move the court to withdraw as attorney of record for Krishan Malone because defendant pleaded. Because the, the defendant pleaded, I don't know, on March 15, 2023. Yes, yeah, so I'm not tripping. This case is finalized. Now, I will say before, it uh, it's almost like that happened because she wasn't paying her lawyer fees. Um, but clearly that was wrong. So technically, I will be one of them to stand corrected as well um, about that part. I definitely said it wrong or I reacted to something that was wrong. I don't know. But y'all know I'm quick to say if I was wrong, girl, I, I will retract everything that I said. So it wasn't because she didn't pay the lawyer fees. Clearly, it's because um, she pleaded. Oh, it's saying she pleaded out. So whatever she pled to, I don't know if it was the fifth. I'm not sure on what she pled to, but on um, what she pleaded to. But that's what I got for y'all as an update. I do have a TikTok after this. Y'all enjoy. Let me know what y'all think and send me some TikToks that we can react to. Yeah, dig. Hell yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I don't know what I'm putting in front of this video, but we about to react to a TikTok of a girl who says, um, it says story time on how this boy girlfriend walked in on us in the bed. Let's get it. Story time, y'all. Story time. So I've been talking to this dude for like a month and like a week straight. Right, so when I say like this man been coming to get me every day, we've been around each other every single day, and like it, it ain't been no breaks, right? Right, so we chilling, we vibing, or whatever. Um, we happen to go out to the bar, go kick it, and shit like that, go have us some drinks, or whatever. And we went back to his crib. So when we went back to his crib, we chilling, we vibing, we played this little game, or whatever, and then we end up being super drunk and y'all know what happened like it, 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 it's self-explanatory if you can they did it talk to my for a month and a week it's self-explanatory what the fuck happened so more of the story i'm in his bed knocked the fuck out me and him we knocked out when i say we so out i'm drunk i'm just knocked out so a time was had like two o'clock in the morning y'all why his come up in the house Come get the got the keys to the house and every thing, y'all. Come up in the house. So I'm sleep. He sleep. My head is wasn't over the covers, but when she turned the light on and she said his name, and I'm like, I know, like hell, this is not happening to me right now, y'all. Like I know, like the f hell, this is not happening to me right now. Now I got to sit the fuck up 
stuff because it, it's gonna get real in this it's gonna get real y'all peep this though so i got the so she turned the light on she said his name she trying to pull the cover off of me but i don't got no bottoms on i just got my shirt on she trying to pull the covers off of me so i pulled a couple put the covers over my head so she took we playing tug of war she trying to oh my god i wouldn't want to put the covers on my head because that would have gave her all the reason to whoop her ass and she wouldn't have been able to see nothing pull it i'm pulling it pull it pull it pull it or whatever so i pulled that bitch some of her her body came on the bed yeah because now i'm finna you finna blow me so he gets out the bed he like he say something like, what is you doing, man? What is you doing? She like, this is what you want to do. This is what you're doing. This is what you're doing or whatever. So she like, I'm finna stab you. What? So I get up because now I'm still drunk and sleepy and shit. So I get up. I put my pants on. He closed the door. He like, me and you sweet. He closed the door. So I put my pants on. So he, no, she try to, she like, you, you, you protect her. You protect her. So, y'all, I got my pipe. I got my, you know, my protection or whatever. Pole, I don't go uh, nowhere without it. But, mind y'all, we were so drunk when we came in, I just put my purse on his couch in the living room. So, that's where my protection was at. Damn. In the purse. In the purse. <laughs> on the couch. In the living room. In the living room, y'all. Why this got me and him in the room, closed door, with knives. Like, she machete knives at that. So, I would have told him, get her. You going to have to hold her while I go downstairs and get that iron. And then I'm, we going to have to then navigate her out the crib with the nine. You know what I'm saying? You got to go. Yeah. Hey. get. You going to have to go now. You you threatening to, to, to unalive me with the stabilization. You know what I'm saying? Uh, getting, giving, having sharp objects, and quite frankly, today <laughs> was not the day. Okay, today was not the day to go. It wasn't. No, ma'am, it was not. So, get your. I would have told him in front of her, grab her. Granted, she would could have been prepared to get the stabbing, but why else we gonna do this? Because if I attempt to grab her nine times out of ten, she gonna get me, especially if he taller. I, I would hope he was taller. Either way, he'd be stronger. So you're just going to have to hold her, you know what I'm saying, to the point where she can't have his knife. Let me go get the, the Glockiana, all right? And I, uh, we're going to have to guide her up out of here. Oh, hold on, y'all. So she got the ass. He coming nice. in. The, she trying to get in the door or whatever. So I'm like, just let her in the door. I'm like, let her in the door. I'm trying to get her to come in the door to go towards him so I can leave out the room and go in the living room towards my protection because, baby, I don't even play like that. So she like, y'all, the lady's so funny. She like, you went here with her booty on your mouth. <laughs> booty on the mouth is crazy. Call that man booty mouth. Why you so serious? <laughs> in his fucking face on his mouth, baby. What you Call mean? that nigga booty mouth is hilarious, okay? Look, the killer is... No, I did not know that this man had a f girlfriend. No, I did not. I'm a woman before anything. And I didn't, oh. I didn't, I was in a seven year relationship and I've been single for a whole year. So I focused on myself for that whole year. I was not talking to nobody. I wasn't doing no dealings. It was just work in my business. I did not care about no nigga. So for me to open up and let you in my life and give you my personal space, that hurts a little bit. And it means like, something but you could have been honest and letting instead of cho choosing that decision for me you could have let me choose that for my mother but y'all like agree. comment <clears throat> i was gonna say subscribe but y'all like for part two. Oh, now we got a part two my stepson said make me oh! i want to know my st story time y'all and y'all this was in january i hate that set boundaries on the end Oh, part two right here. Okay, y'all. Part two on how this boy girlfriend walked in on us in the bed together. Okay, so we in the room. We trapped in the room or whatever because she outside the room with the knives or whatever. She got like two long ass knives. Oh. I seen the knives because the door was cracked before he closed it all the way. I seen her coming out the kitchen. So oh. I'm still putting on my pants or whatever. I'm putting on my pants or whatever. So he tried not to let her in the door so i'm like let her in the door let her in the door or whatever because i want her to come in the door to go towards him so i can go out there and get to my protection or whatever right so he end up no she ended up walking away she's like okay i'm gonna go outside i'm gonna i'm gonna 
up them cars. Talking about our cars or whatever. So then he hurried up to open up the door. He went, like, you, 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 he ain't waste no fucking time, y'all. And I say, you ain't about to mess up my car. He hurried up to open up that door. When she said, I'm finna go fuck up them cars, he hurried up and opened up that door. He like, all right, man, and he opened up the door. So she come in, she come in the room, she go, like, she look at me. She go towards him to his face and put the knife once, like, in his face and one on his, like, his stomach or whatever. And she was like, you know, like, she was finna come and shit. So I hurried up, got my coat, I hurried up and left out the room. And went, like, in the living room. Now, I got to put my shoes on. But the shoes that I had on, it's not, like, just no easy slip-on shoes. So, I'm putting my shoes Why on. Why you going to the shoes first? Glockiana was the first person to go to. Glockiana! I would have wished I could transport my bag to me. Just... And then it just slide to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> for real you know, she come out the room or whatever she comes towards the door the <laughs> living room the the big the front door she comes towards the door y'all hold on real quick i need something to drink because this finna get real juicy y'all for real not needed something to drink because it's finna get real juicy lady where's the story other video time, story time. my ex is calling from his new house say he made uh, a story Okay, that was in January. Oh, la, 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 What's up, G-Way? Okay, y'all, part two on how this boy girlfriend yeah. walked in on us in the bed together. Okay, so we in the room. Yeah, that was we it. We trapped in the room or whatever because she outside the room with the knives or whatever. She got like two long-ass knives. How I sink the knives. Okay. No, no I don't think you understand. <sighs> y'all, that was it. Now, first of all, I don't know about y'all, but I needed at least one more part. However, I just got to say this. It's so dangerous to go out and be single today. I don't know how y'all do it. Like, go out and be single and, like, chance on going to do to do at somebody's house. And you can even say, like, nah, you know what? I'm going to just go get a hotel. But, girl, somebody be waiting there for you, too. What what would y'all rather do? Would y'all rather do that at a hotel? Or would you rather do that at somebody's house? And please put down the reason down in the comment section below. But let me know what y'all thinking. Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.